and we'll get a pullback, okay? But notice that the main trend is moving up, okay? So a lot of the time with regular divergence, okay, is you're fighting against the trend. So you're, you're really just trying to capture the pullbacks. All right, guys, welcome back. So I haven't posted in a while, so what I'm doing is I'm going through a lot of the comments. I've still been in the comments replying to you all. I've just had a little bit of time off, spent it with my family. Still trading, obviously, but, you know, just taking the time to myself. I'm just going to go through and answer a lot of the, you know, a lot of you have left a lot of questions, and it's quite hard to answer a lot of them in the chats, right? So I'm going to, um, I'm just going to go through, make a series of videos, answering as many questions I can, as, as I can, sorry. So I hope you get value from it, right? So one of the, uh, not so much of a question, but one someone enjoyed the RSI video I put up, right? And it was regular divergence, okay? So basically making higher highs, right, on price action. This is price action. And the RSI, okay, which is this that I'm drawing now, creating, oh, messed it up. Lower highs, okay? So the, diverging from price. And then you'd take a short, okay? So I'm gonna show you another type of divergence that I've gone over, but I haven't showed, shown you, you know, any rules or any sort of good examples, right? So this, so that type of trading, right, where you've got regular divergence, that is mainly gonna be on pullbacks, okay? So your shorter type of moves, right? So like here, okay, let's see, do we get it? Not quite, right? So you can see that we got, um, we got higher highs on price action, right? you would expect to see lower highs on the RSI, something like that, right? And we'll get a pullback, okay? But notice that the main trend is moving up, okay? So a lot of the time with regular divergence, okay, is you're fighting against the trend. So you're, you're really just trying to capture the pullbacks. Every now and then you'll, you know, you'll, you'll catch a bottom and you, you get the market sort of travel up like this. But generally speaking, you're gonna be catching pullbacks, okay? Right, like here, again, yeah, this is just a quick example, right? You've got higher highs on price action, lower highs on the RSI, okay? You capture a little pullback, but the underlying trend is in an upwards direction, okay? So I recommend not going over a 2R on that, okay? 1R works very well, 2R works well as well, as well okay? Works very well, okay? Do your own testing, but I'd recommend not going over a 3R. Test it, right? So I'm going to show you a strategy again using RSI divergence, but using a different type that's going to allow us to get involved with trending moves, okay? So this is hidden divergence, right? And hidden divergence is similar, but it's different, right? So what we're going to be looking at, okay, we're going to be looking at, this is price action, right? We're going to be looking at the market to be trending, Okay, and creating these pullbacks, okay? So a series of higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. And on the RSI, what we're gonna be looking at, or looking for, sorry, is price to be moving up, create a pullback, okay? And then on the second pullback, create a lower low. Okay, so on price action, this pullback, is the low and this and this one's higher right but on the rsi this pullback is higher this one is lower okay so it creates you know th this is the divergence and in case you don't know divergence just divergence just means a separation basically right hello so where was I? Right, so divergence, right? So yeah, we're gonna be looking for price action to create higher highs on the pullbacks, right? Or higher lows, sorry, and higher highs, right? Higher lows on the pullbacks. And then we're gonna be looking for the opposite on uh, the RSI, okay? And this is, gonna, this is gonna signal a potential trend continuation. Whereas before we was looking at uh, you know, on the regular divergence, we're looking at the highs, okay, and divergences across the highs to give us an indication on, of a reversal or a potential pullback, right? We're now going to be looking at the pullbacks 
to give us an indication of potential higher or lower prices depending on which way round we're looking at it, right? I'm not gonna show you the other way around. I'm sure you can you can work that out for yourselves, right? So I'm gonna give you some brief rules, okay? Just so that you can go and test. Test these rules, right? Make them your own. Change some things if you feel like, you know, you could make it better, but test, right? Make sure that what you're changing is for the best, right? Start simple, test it. As you're going, note down some things that you might want to change and then test it again, right? It's repetitive, it's boring, takes forever, but it's the best way, trust me. The longest way is always the quickest way. So just so you know, my parameters on my RSI is RSI 7. In fact, they've changed the RSI on Trading View, so I'll just show you what I've got mine as. I've got rid of everything else. I have like loads of other squiggly lines and you know different moving averages and all that sort of stuff so that you can see what I've got selected and what I haven't. Right, I'm not going to spend for, uh, forever on it. If you want to pause the video, pause it, okay? All right, so let's just pull this back and I'll show you some live examples, right? So, and in fact, we've actually got... And it looks like my year's trading view is up. Okay, so we're not going to use the replay tool. So... We're going to look at this is our pullback okay so we've got pullback extension pullback right we've then got an extension higher and a pullback right we actually you know you could argue that this is our pullback here but if you look right if we highlight where this is here we don't actually get lower highs right so you can see that this is uh, we don't actually get lower a higher low, sorry, or low, we don't actually get lower lows, right? So you can see we're traveling up here. This is our pullback, right? You know, if this was real time, let's move it to over here. So if this these candles were playing out in real time, this is all we'd see. We, st we still haven't got this low here needs to be below this low for us to get the divergence, okay? So it needs to be, you know, down here somewhere, right? needs to just be lower than this low here. So as this is moving on, right, this is still part of our pullback, this, and we get, a low, we get a lower low, okay? So now we've got the divergence, okay? So you can see from this point of our pullback to this point, they're diverging from each other, okay? So what you can do is you can, you can enter now if you want, or you could look for some form of indication that we're likely to see a bullish push right so that could be you know it can be a, a pin bar like this okay this is a pin bar this candle rejection candle you can actually look for like a bullish candle so so, so some form of moment, uh, momentum right so i think we'll just do that for now look for some form of momentum bang right we get that we'll buy okay so write these rules down we're just these are just brief rules that you can test right Price moving in, in our direction, okay? Stops below the low, and we'll look for just like a, I don't know, two to one, just for a, just for a baseline, right? Again, I suggest you test a one to one, two to one, three to one, whatever you like, right? It's loads of different things, and let's just see how this plays out, and it wins, right? So, right, we've got a pullback, right? And then we've got the lows here. Pullback. And then we've got lows here, right? So pull back to there. This is higher, so this wouldn't be an entry, right? If you look between, getting ahead of myself a little bit, my apologies, it's been a while since I've done these videos. Uh, we've got higher highs there, or higher lows, sorry, and we've also got higher lows there, right? We want to see divergence, right? So again, if this was real time, we've got a pullback waiting for our next pullback which we get okay and you can see that on this next pullback we get divergence right so price is putting in higher lows okay between these two pullbacks 
and we're also putting in lower lows, okay? Indicating that we're likely to see a potential reversal, right? So again, this pin bar, you can put your entries a few pips above this pin bar, waiting for price to enter you in as we move up. Or you can look for, you know, a bullish candle, whatever, however you want to do that, right? Just giving you an outline of some rules. And again, looking for a, for a two to one. Okay, so I'll try and find some short examples Let's, yeah, right, let's just start here, okay? So you can see that we're starting to, you know, this is a pullback, move lower, pullback. Let's just draw this out, pullback, right? So here, and then we get a pullback, and as you can see, on this pullback, we are creating lower lower highs okay but on the rsi we are putting in a higher high okay so we're creating some divergence there right again pin bar entry you can either put your stops a few pips below this candle waiting to get triggered in or you can wait for the next bearish candle right wait for the close of that Stops a few pits below the low, looking for two to one. Do we just get it? Might just get stopped out of there, depending on how you entered that. Okay, so if you had your stops, uh, if you had your entry there, uh, just below the candle, then you probably would have hit it, right? If you had it on the close of this candle, then you probably would have just missed it, right? But you can, you know, you're not gonna win every trade. You can see the idea, right? Slightly different. Okay, slightly unorthodox, but you can take these as well. So lower lows, ever so slight, higher highs, uh, lower highs, sorry, here on the price action, you've got lower highs. And on the RSI, you've got high highs. So uh, again, similar sort of setup, right? And you know, how was we doing it? It was doing it at two to one. You can see that, that hits targets. Similar sort of thing here, right? Got a pullback, got highs, okay. Divergence there, and divergence there, and you can see that we roll over, right? So, you know, I've literally just, just bear in mind, right? This looks like really good, right? But obviously, we're trending up there. I've cherry picked examples out of this right we're trending down there i've cherry picked examples out of that obviously you're going to get losing trades in the shop right there's going to be trades that you miss you're going to build discretion over like this type of one right this type of trade again that's just going to come from time in the markets testing building your own rules out right noticing certain breathing patterns in the market okay so if you did enjoy the last RSI video on the regular divergence, I hope you enjoyed the hidden divergence. So again, as always, I hope you got value from the video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And wherever you are on your trading journey, hope you have a good week and I'll see you in the next one.